Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Rick, Broadman Baptist Church, and this is the Broadman Word for April 10th, 2024. Hey, listen, I wanted to uh, check in with you today, uh, say hello, make sure you're living out the life that God has uh, planned for you, and uh, I wanted to talk to you about doing that uh, because you are free. Uh, Paul and chapter 8 of Romans talks about quite a few things, but there's something that uh, about verses 37 through 39 of chapter 8 that always kind of strike me as sort of the uh, true declaration of freedom, something that we can uh, have significant hope in. So I'll go ahead and read that to you uh, right now, starting in 37. It says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So uh, that is such a magnificent and powerful statement for us to have hope in, for us to have faith in as a way to sort of an anchoring statement of freedom. Uh, Paul writes uh, very clearly here that it doesn't matter what it is you can think of, past or present, past, present, or future, even angels, um, certainly demons, uh, whatever it is, nothing in creation can separate you from the love of God. So once you have come to a point of acceptance of that love, declaration of Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, um, and you are now willing to become resurrected yourself, um, brought out of darkness and sin into um, hope and light uh, through the um, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, his completed work on the cross. Once you're ready to do that, once you've come to that point, uh, you are now free. You're free from everything. You're free from any everything you ever did. You have a mechanism to cleanse your life now and forevermore, uh, as long as it's accompanied with uh, a repentant heart. Uh, and so the uh, Bible tells us that when asked for forgiveness is becomes granted in as far as the east is from the west. Uh, that's an important statement because you can go east or west forever. If you think about it, you can go north for a while, but eventually you have to go south. You can go south for a while, but you eventually have to go north. Not so with east or west. It goes on forever. Very key point in the Bible. Um, anything that might have held you back, anything that might have been held against you, anything that might be a block or an obstacle to your true personal freedom, is removed and can continuously be removed if you, because you're human, um, put other things in the way. Not only can your past be cleansed and you can be brought righteous, um, clean, righteous before God, able to be his disciple and heir of his kingdom and to one day dwell with him in heaven forever. Uh, not only is that uh, a thing, uh, a truth, your future conduct um, can be straightened out as well so that you are continuously uh, in the favor of God as long as you're attempting to live by his will, as long as you have a repentant heart, as long as you are recognizing of Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and wanting um, to apply his teachings to your life, to be a disciple of Christ, then you can. And so um, these passages by Paul in Romans chapter 8 are just amazing. Um, he says that you're conquerors, uh, conquerors over even death. Not even death can separate you from the love of God. It, you are there. You are his uh, once his hand of grace is extended to you and accepted uh, and your salvation becomes complete, that is it. That's why uh, we Baptists say once saved, always saved. And so 
that statement in itself is sort of simplistic, but it reaches to the bigger point of, hey, I am now actually free. I'm free to be separate from the world and not subject to its dictates. Um, I'm separate from the world, no longer subject to um, the penalties of sin and, and death. I'm separate from the world and able to myself choose not what some other social engineer or cancel culture or organization or theory or theology says I should do. I am now free to choose myself to love Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and to dwell with him forever. And so the personal freedom, the true freedom, um, comes from reaching that point in your life. And I want to encourage you to spend time in study. If you're not a Christian, then study it. Look at it, because you're going to find the things that you've been told about um, hatred and bigotry are simply not there. And um, the perception that they want you to have about Christians as being these little goody two-shoes with all these rules to follow, running around judging each other, you're also going to find that not to be true. And you will discover within the love of Jesus Christ a freedom not available to you anywhere else ever. So listen, brothers and sisters, be free. Um, here in America, we are all about our rights and our freedoms, and um, we do all manner of things to uh, make sure that all stays in place. When really, all you need to do is recognize the author of love and truth and come to a profession of that love and truth through him, and that's it. You're free, as free as anybody could ever be now and forevermore, eternally free. Listen, I love you. I hope you have a marvelous day in the Lord. I'll talk to you next time.